over here trail side there used to be a structure right here you can see all the light colored vegetation here where uh things are now different so there was a bunch of stuff up here and they took it all down sure it was humans that probably did it um but then again you see some it was super windy here the other day but yet you have this here you've got a stump underneath it you've got a few put up right here possibly some other sticks so i mean when they cleaned it i'm sure they cleaned up all of this kind of stuff too so they're probably already back building at this location actually is what i would think this is also a tree where there's been a bunch of stuff piled in there i think um but just this little area trail side that we're working with and it looks like they're already kind of putting some stuff in here and starting to rebuild their little area one other thing we noticed was just this uh piece of bark lined up i think i walked right over it to get over there to look at at some of that stuff but i mean it's didn't come off this tree here i don't know where it came from it's a big piece of bark but you can see it's there's a fresh snap sitting on top of it another one across it this piece of bark on top i mean this isn't random this is a placement so okay this is interesting I love the plant sumac. I love these trees. I love the feeling of being in a sumac grove. I used to have one when I was a kid that I would go sit in all by myself where we lived on this mountaintop. And um, just something about this plant I love. <clears throat> so I was attracted to this area. It looks like this is possibly a little bark build right here. You can see this tree has been busted. Totally snapped. Broken down into pieces. Um, but then something put this up in the tree over where the tree would have grown to let you know this is a manipulation. You can see both of these have been placed here after the fact. That's a very recent break. And uh, this is a really cool little sumac grove that we're in so just wanted to document that little little potential piece of evidence um good energy here check it trees. out just walking out this is like the sign to go into the sumac grove here this y that's been jammed up placed between here and uh wedged in the tree here like a little entrance to the path you see the way these sticks are lined up like this i was busy looking for footprints and looking at the footprints but my buddy made note of this right before i started the video because there's a few prints in here like this here that looked like it could have been a foot but certainly this one here that you can see toe marks in it there's some kids out here playing and doing their thing but there's a parking lot up here so they came down and they're hanging along this beach beach over here but uh there's a couple more prints over here you can see the toes on that one clearly another potential there um so i thought that was kind of compelling and i didn't know if i should film it or not really until i saw all the sticks broken and lined up and uh, actually this this too I went to move this and I was like look at this is jammed in the mud and I'm like what the hell and then I started thinking oh okay it's actually underneath that stick jammed underneath that stick real good but found prints here before back when the water was receded there were prints all over here um, obviously there's stuff right here so I can try to go over there and see if I can find anything there as well um but as far as this the sticks are kind of compelling to make you think these might be more than just regular human okay bricks. made it over to this other side had to build a little sh bridge through this crappy smelling water i'm gonna stink when i'm done here today but looks like these prints have been here for a little bit but Kinda, I mean, you know they're barren. I'll just tell you, 
friggin' stinks around here. And there's mosquitoes galore. There's a skinny little foot. I mean, there's a dog. Could be coyote, but possibly people down here. But I wonder if they're all human or not. And like I said, it's muck central down here. Oh, it's starting to sink into some of this stuff. Barefoot right there, it looks like. I don't know, just a little adventure over here to try to capture it for you. Nothing totally conclusive. But interesting nevertheless with all the stick placements right there. All right, continuing down the beach here. Just this little last corner that we got working. All the bare footprint. There's something right there. There's a little one. See they were barefoot. It's a pretty large foot. Anyway, look in here. This definitely looks manipulated like one of their little spots. See the Coke can? placed up this is actually a structure here a creation see this broken all this lined up the grass this going across oh yeah this is most definite their little area right here <clears throat> isn't that funny with the coke can look at that pattern zip 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 oh so many mosquitoes in here it's ridiculous Anyway, this is an awesome find. Let's see what's right beyond it. Hold on, I'm gonna take a picture. Check this out, I'm trying to walk around to get in there around the structure. It looks like a little print right here. You can see kind of like the toes right in there. There's another heel there of one. And then this guy is really good. A lot of definition, a lot of angulature of that. Walking through the forest here, through the Mosquitoville, trying to get back to our bikes. Came back to show my friend that structure. I took the long way. I, I went through the mud to get to it. Oh, the mosquitoes in here are terrible, but uh, this is stuck into the ground here. Just noticed it. Walking by. Looks kind of like a sign. Good find here by Mike on the beach. Looks like a glyph here with the Fishing String Incorporation. God dang mosquitoes. Uh, really good, good find there. Beautiful find. So it's worth walking on the beach. You know, I'm looking for prints and stuff, but you know, you can see something like this, but it's gonna be inconclusive. You don't know what what's doing it, you know? And it looks like it's walking on its front only, which is weird. I noticed that, like, all through here. It's just something walking on its tippy toes. I don't know what's with that. I don't know why. Like, that's not the only one. There's others in here. Uh, and it's just the front of the foot. There's a little foot here. But, I mean, it could be people. But that is an interesting shaped foot. So, anyway, I mean, tracks in the sand... Whatever, but that's not the only one that I saw on these tippy toes. And then uh, you get this beautiful glyph here. Awesome stuff. Check this out. 
I'm gonna take a little break in this beautiful little spot and just have a seat. And I'm like, oh, there's mud. So I came over and looked. And you can see something's been walking around in here, trudging through. If you can pick that up, but there's tracks in there. And uh, the better ones are actually on the other side here. Really interesting looking ones right here. Um, little, little foot there. Look at that slide. Look at the indentations and the little. Pretty interesting. Possible big footprints right there of a baby. Really good ones. Perfect substrate. Look at that. Loving it. But you can see, it comes right through the water here and starts walking through here. I mean, who's got their kid out here just mucking up out here in this disgusting bird poop mud? It reeks. It smells like low tide. But uh, sure does make for some good prints. But these are these are pretty stellar. Get some photographs of these and uh, know, let me know if you see anything I don't notice in the commentary. All right, check this out. This is a circular area where some kind of creature has bedded down here and made a made a bed right here next to the creek. There's a lot of noise at this part of the creek, so it would help cover up noise. But uh, just doing a little exploring. That All right, nice. sweet. Just came up on this. I'm like, oh, nice. Look at this little sandy spot by the water. Soon as we touch down. See, there's a structure right there. Cool little build. Probably that same little guy who left his footprints down river. Can you imagine? Pretty neat. One of those backbone structures, whatever. Got some cottonwood in there. With the leaves on it. And that is a really cool find. Oh, look at that inside. There's some bark and some logs placed up in there as well. What a stellar little find. Okay, we're on the other side. It wasn't too hard to get over here. So see that right there for this whole large piece? It almost looks like it's new, like it was just brought in in order to make this structure just based on the fact that it's a fresh imprint in the sand that's not all settled in and it hasn't even rained on it that much and it's been raining for a month uh, just quit about a week and a half or two weeks ago but it was raining heavily so um, right there that just tells you this thing's brought in that's new all these are you know fresh breaks and then we've got that inside look they did a little human incorporation human item I don't know what that is pencil lead maybe for a mechanical pencil for the plausible denial and then they put that in there rock here because they make this thing riverside structure never ceases to amaze me if you look hard enough and I put in the time I tell you what hours and hours and miles and miles is what it takes of exploring but it's out there if you look in the right place you can find it too but thank you for finding it on my video really do appreciate people who watch this and comment really do appreciate it, it makes it all worthwhile I don't make money on my videos and uh, I do this strictly just to show that it's possible and it's out there and to document it because if you don't it's going to be gone and uh and why not once i started and i didn't stop finding stuff 
I just decided this is my little niche. So keep looking for the structures, keep finding the structures and uh, doing what I do. Hope you guys enjoy it. Later.